least in the morning. Let it go down in memory for all eternity that May 24th, 2018 officially sucks ass. It sucks ass. Not only do we have to learn today that one of the most seemingly harmless men in show business has been accused of sexual harassment, but also one of the most beloved game critics has left the earth. Brian, how are you feeling today? I was doing well, and now I am filled with sh- doubt and some sadness. At, uh, yeah. In particular, I- at the passing of Total Biscuit. R.I.P. Total Biscuit. Of, of course. We didn't want to put these two pieces of uh, terrible information together, but as of the time of recording this, we literally just learned this about uh, less than an hour ago. So thank you so much for all that you did in respect to you know consumer advocacy and your honest reviews. Watch them all the time. I'm sure Brian did. I'm sure mm-hmm. everybody that's listening to this, most of you have. So R.I.P., man. All right, let's get into this. Eight women have alleged they were subjected to sexual harassment by Morgan Freeman. These eight women, along with eight witnesses, spoke to CNN as part of the investigation. A reporter at CNN, Chloe Malis, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name, was an alleged victim and the only one who spoke on record. This is the list of allegations. Now, I'm going to read this as it was written on CNN and in The Hollywood Reporter. And as I read this, it might seem like I'm actually accusing him of something. I'm not. Like just the way that the sentences are phrased. These are all alleged at the moment, but this is what he's accused of. He supposedly massaged women without permission. He would rest his hands on their lower backs. He made comments about women's bodies and clothing. He tried to lift up a woman's skirt and asked if she was wearing underwear and only stopped when Alan Arkin told him to. Freeman once shook the hand of the aforementioned Chloe Mellis, who was six months pregnant at the time, and said, I wish I was there. He apparently also said, you are ripe. The I wish I was there line was caught on film. Uh, As for the aforementioned allegations and the ones I'm about to read, those ones, uh, to my knowledge, have yet to be proven. He once looked the woman up and down and asked her, how do you feel about sexual harassment? The woman supposedly responded, I love it, sarcastically. And then he turned to a bunch of people that were behind him at the time and said, see, that's how you do that. On more than one occasion, he'd go to a female employee, stand really close to them and look at their breasts. He would ask women to twirl for him. And when he commented on a woman's dress once upon a time, he said the following, quote, she wants to be thought of as serious, but you can't get away from the short dresses, end quote. Once again, Everything that I just said there, even though I was reading it as an af- a statement of fact, it isn't actually. These are all just allegations and they have yet to be proven in court. Morgan Freeman issued a statement on these allegations shortly after they were published. Quote, Anyone who knows me or has worked with me knows I am not someone who would intentionally offend or knowingly make anyone feel uneasy. I apologize to anyone who felt uncomfortable or disrespected. That was never my intent. End quote. <sighs> Today sucks. Why? Why did it have to be him? Not even okay. Not even God is safe from accusations of harassment. Yeah. Not even God. I wonder how Jesus is gonna feel, or Bruce, or Evan. <laughs> Wait, we don't talk about Evan because that movie wasn't that good. Anyways, no, Brian. No. Well, um, uh, obviously, these are all just allegations at this point. But even even if you read through the allegations, they all seem. Like something that most of them, anyway, not all of them, seem like something that a man and a woman he is somewhat familiar with, not even necessarily romantically familiar with, that's an exchange that that could happen with. For example, massaging women without permission, uh, resting his hand on their lower backs. Anytime you take a photo with a woman, if you're comfortable and with the, you know, in their company, When you take a photo with someone and, you know, actors and and models and stuff, people in the entertainment industry, they take a lot of photos and they might be doing it with people like they're they're in their company. So if he puts his hand on their lower back as part of the photos, they look like they're comfortable together. What kind of I mean, that seems to me that that's really harmless. I would I would. guess, Right. I mean, look, we're well, go ahead, Max. Go ahead. I was just going to say, when I first heard that allegations were made against Freeman, you know, given the current climate as it is in respect to Hollywood, 
uh, the media industry and some of the terrible things that have uh, accusations that have been levied against uh, popular figures. When I heard that Morgan Freeman had been accused, I thought, oh, God, what did he do? I was uh, thinking about the worst possible instances. But uh, thankfully, uh, it's the least worst that it it seems like uh, he's being accused of now. Yeah, like, as you said, some of these things, they can obviously be taken the wrong way. But other things, it's just like, okay, if if you're uh, an elderly man, you're almost 80, mm-hmm. uh, or you might be 80 now. Uh, he was uh, 79 at the time that some of these accusations were made. If, if you're that age and you're doing these things to younger women in a workplace environment, even though, like, obviously, compared to how badly things are, these are pretty tame, it's still not appropriate. Now, we don't know if these can actually be proven. The only thing that has been proven that he has said was, I wish I was there. But it, I don't, maybe it's just my autistic brain, but I don't understand what that means. I don't think, it, see, like a, what, a, I think it takes someone to interpret these actions and statements as harassment in order for them to manifest as harassment. Like, it, it only would feel like harassment if you were the person and you decided that, it would feel that way to you. It's very, 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 very gray area territory. Even that, I wish I was there comment. I was trying to figure out how that, how that's harassment. I couldn't, I couldn't f- place that, you know. I, I, I don't even know what it means. No, I don't know what it means either. You know, it, it's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what it means. Uh, trying to lift a woman's skirt, okay? That's not appropriate. Yeah, that's not good. But I don't see... I don't see any – we would need some evidence of that. And again, you know, um, sometimes if you have female friends or if you're a female and you have male friends, you may uh, engage in like, you know, uh, playful, flirtatious behavior with each other. And I, this isn't a justification of anything. But what I'm saying is if there's two consult, consenting adults or they're, or they're really comfortable around each other, these things can happen. And these are sort of like – I think that they are not necessarily unhealthy, provided that all the parties involved are participating in, uh, you know, a, a uh, so they're consenting adults, consensual but, yeah, like a consensual exchange of of like having a good time, right? And and like the Hollywood yeah. scene is, it is professional when it's time to work, but there's a lot of partying that happens too, and it, a lot of this sounds like stuff that may have gone on. You know, at parties and press events and dinners and things like that. Like these social events that surround people at work. It's a different culture. I I will at least give it that. And this isn't me giving him a pass in case there is some untoward stuff going on. It's entirely possible. But what I would say is for the majority of these that sound really tame and it would be a stretch to call them sexual harassment. I think it may have... For a couple. Yeah, for a couple of them. Yeah, for a couple. I mean, I would say for like asking a girl to twirl for you, I don't think that's sexual harassment. If you just want to see the outfit, like if I have to put myself in the, I reverse the genders and put myself in that position. If someone, if I was wearing a suit and somebody asked me to turn around for them, I would not see it as a, a sexual harassment thing. I would see it as someone trying to see what I'm wearing. I don't, I don't see why that's a problem. Um, as an, but I don't really want to get into each individual sort of thing but what what I was going to get at is and this is something I brought up before with men most of the time it's men who find themselves accused of sexual harassment for things that are very difficult to actually objectively state are sexual harassment where you're in that really really gray area of you know where it's where people kind of come together to interact is in that gray area like every time you meet a stranger and you interact with them, you don't know how they're going to take your social norms, as it were. You know, where, whether or not you're going to overreach or they want you to do more or whether they're going to make you uncomfortable. You don't know. So you have to go mm-hmm. into these things with the um, a little bit of flexibility and some level of uh, preparedness for them perhaps, you know, mildly overstepping if, if that's not what you're accustomed to. And as long as you can deal with that appropriately, you can do so without necessarily thinking of that person as having malicious intentions. So, well, I, I generally agree with the premise of what you're saying mm-hmm. here, Brian. My big thing, though, is that it depends on exactly when 
these types of supposed actions took place. If they were when he was younger, I might be a little bit more willing to understand that may, maybe some of these uh, instances were consensual. But considering that he's an 80-year-old man, mm-hmm. I'm a little less willing to believe that. It's not like he's Hugh Hefner, right? He's Morgan Freeman. I don't care. Like, I mean, he's recognizable worldwide. There are probably starving kids in the world generally uh, that know who Morgan Freeman is. Yeah. But even then, he's not like the kind of guy you want to get with sexually, you know? No, but I'm not, what I'm saying is I don't think that there's a lot of sexual stuff happening here according to these accusations. Except for the thing with the dress and, uh, you know, his comment about where he supposedly said she wants to be thought of as serious but you can't get away from the short dresses. I don't. I don't. I mean, that might be a little bit crude, but I don't really think that it's um, terrible. Like, I don't think that he's done anything really monstrous. Is what I'm getting at. You know, the worst thing. Yeah, it's like, did you could be the dress? Did you really have to say that? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like that. But then you know, okay, you know, um, as people get older, they they tend to give less fucks. Like uh, Betty White is like that. You know, she's she yeah, she says her true. mind, and then people tend to kind of like get, they're they're forgiving because they're old. It's like, oh well, she's she's old and and you know, kind of sassy. It's like that. You know, is how I see it. But what I what I think there's a couple of things that are kind of interesting here. Um, one is that a lot of times in what I've seen with these allegations, not only the stuff coming out of Hollywood and the Me Too stuff, but even the stuff with guys involved with Gamergate, a lot of the uh, male feminists that were, you know, very, very strongly anti-SJW, and then they were accused of things later on. Now, on yep. the one hand, I think that, you know, you could make the argument that they were the types of people because, as they say, SJWs always project, they might be the types of people that would actually engage in harassment and, and sexual uh, misconduct. But on the other hand... There's also the possibility that the reason why they're being accused of things is because of their proximity to feminists that are more likely to make accusations. So it can be it can be a bit tricky, too, in that regard. Like, I'm sure that there are cases where, you know, these men are doing these things. But I also think it's important to consider the possibility that Morgan Freeman is being accused of stuff because he's around people who are more likely to make accusations against him. And... The other thing is, you know, we don't know, and I'm I'm obviously open to whatever. If there's going to be an investigation, I hope. I think that he deserves due process no matter what. But if yeah. he's already losing, if he starts losing work because of this, the damage is done. And it almost doesn't matter whether or not he is found guilty because they've already, you know, this TransLink company has already decided that they're not going to use his voice in their ads. And that's just one of what I'm going to assume is going to be a lot more companies and agencies and, you know, uh, film groups and organizations that are going to basically either publicly or privately push away or sort of distance themselves from Morgan Freeman, whether or not these accusations and allegations turn out to be true. And that's a shame because that means that it doesn't matter if he's guilty or not. It just matters that he was accused. Yeah, I, I obviously echo all your sentiments. Hopefully mm-hmm. you get to see a pro- appropriate due process. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of these accusations. If they're true and Morgan Freeman has been a creep on set to these women and made an unsafe work environment, obviously I want justice to be served. At the moment, I it's hard for anybody really to have a definitive position on these issues considering it, it just came out a few hours ago. Yeah. But th- this is a story that will develop. Obviously, we'll keep you guys posted. I obviously want to hear your thoughts on this particular development as well as, you know, obviously Mr. Total Biscuits, John Bain, in the comments below. Whether you agree or disagree with anything that I or Brian have said, please let us know because we always read what you guys have to say. I certainly do. If you like this particular video, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps us out. What with the YouTube algorithm? It just tells it, hey, that our content is worth watching and it spreads our videos around into the recommended feeds of people all over the world. And of course, please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content like this from us. Thank you so much, Brian, for doing this. I know it's been a really busy day for you Mm. and especially doing it on such short notice. And until next time, stay yellow. Also have a gay day. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, oh. (laughs) Yeah, you're not supposed to say... God damn it. He said it, not me. It's the police!